Hey, what's up, everybody? BDR44 coming at you another video. All right, so the score was 113-105, and the Lakers beat the New York Knicks at the Garden, snapping the Knicks' nine-game winning streak, of which I said was eight in the pregame video, for which you have not seen because it's still uploading. I don't know if YouTube's having some issues or if it's me or if I pissed off the wrong people and now they got a hold of my <laughs> YouTube uh, account and slowing down my, my videos, but I haven't been able to upload uh, but two videos all day long. And I got a lot of ranting that I did today, so y'all just gonna have to wait on it, as you will probably wait on this one even longer. So, uh, yeah, I expect for this to be available for you in the morning, forgive me, but I definitely did it right after the game was over. Um, what a game, man. What a game for, for everybody, man. Austin Reeves uh, played qu quite well, shot the ball well, Bronk scored quite a bit, played great defense. We did a fantastic job of doubling Jalen Excuse me, Jalen Brunson did a fantastic job of doubling that dude and putting him in a position to not feel comfortable all night long. Uh, Got to give Anthony Davis credit with 18 boards, four blocks, two of which were on the same possession, which was just a spectacular highlight. Um, Dorian Prince chipped in quite a bit with, I believe, 15 points. Um, shot the ball really well from behind the arc. So this was a good Torian game. Um Got to give credit to Jackson Hayes continuing to contribute. Three or three from the field, 10 points. And, uh, you know, we were happy. You know, D'Lo didn't shoot quite well tonight, but he did chip in quite a bit with double-digit points as well. And, uh, you know, the Lakers played pretty well, man. Um, it was more so about the defensive end, especially in that fourth quarter where we had about a seven-minute stretch where the New York Knicks couldn't score a point. We were shutting them down throughout the clutch moments of that basketball game. So couldn't be more pleased with what I saw out there. Glad the Stars are back, looking fresh, uh, healthy. And um, as Bron said at the end of the game, we're just going to be professional about it. Got one more game of the road trip on Monday against the, Char the Charlotte Hornets. Brandon Miller, probably a mellow ball, and we'll have to go in and, uh, and play right or we're going to lose. Just like he said, so hopefully we can close it out strong because it has been a successful road trip, if you ask me. You consider with three and two on the damn road trip, beating the most difficult teams, the Golden State Warriors, the New York Knicks on a nine-game winning streak, and of course the Boston Celtics in the previous one. So this is probably the best stretch that we've been on, you know. And I think uh, it just speaks to the team always showing up for for uh, big games. This game was on ABC. New York Knicks, Madison Square Garden, the team's on, uh, on a massive winning streak, of course. Our DNA this season with this group is to show up for games like this and play their best in games like this. And then forget about Charlotte, forget about Houston, forget about Atlanta, and not play hard those games. Um, it's just who we've been. <laughs> it's just who we've been. We've beaten a lot of good teams. We've done this a lot of the time. And, um, you know, you got to appreciate how they, they made up for Vanderbilt's absence in this game collectively as a team playing team defense the way that we did uh hartenstein had 15 boards we didn't win in the rebounding category but all in all um you were still able to win the game despite me thinking that was the key to beating the knicks it really came down to the knicks not being able to score on us uh us just trapping the heck out of jalen brunson every time he got the ball and forcing him to give it up and even though he walked away with his minutes i mean his points and his assists he got his numbers uh, we made it significantly more difficult. And, of course, I got to give credit um, where credit is due to OG Ananobi for actually not coming back against the Lakers when it was an opportunity for him to play or he was day-to-day. -day. He decided to continue to rest, and he didn't do what the rest of the league literally always does to us, which is come back when they're hurt. And I think a lot of what was successful for us was – him also not being a part of this situation along with Julius Randle. As I said in the pregame video, it's just going to be a situation where I don't expect the New York Knicks going to be able to sustain as well as they've been doing because they're losing people and guys going in and out of the lineup. So when you have those two type of starters, Juju and OG, out of the lineup, uh, beating us is going to be a tall task. And I felt it would be, man. I honestly thought the Lakers were going to win this game. Um, given the fact that how we played, against the Celtics without those stars, bringing the stars back and then our guys coming in with confidence. Um, I just thought the Knicks were running into the wrong team at the wrong time. I really did. And you guys will see me say that um, if you go back and watch that pregame video, if you decide to, since everything is all over or whatever. But that's that's unfortunate for me, uploading uh, that, that uploading issue, because that wasn't just any old um, pregame video. It wasn't. I said a lot. And I think it was some stuff that I think people want to hear. But um, the higher-ups decided they wanted to silence me today. And that's exactly how I took it. 
And so as you guys listen to my rants today, if, if you if you decide to go back and listen to some of these rants that are uploading right now, uh, you'll see what I was on. I wasn't playing with nobody all day long in regards to this basketball team and just how I'm viewing what it is we have to do. But I'll tell you this, uh, this was a big game for us to get the victory in. And um, you know what I mean? We're just going to continue to be professional. That's what it has to be for those guys, you know. Come out and play, do your job, just like Bron said. And, 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 and in this road trip, the strong way, you know. We couldn't win them all, but we definitely have won the ones that counted the most. And so they should be proud of themselves as a collective unit. And I think uh, people can kind of back off, you know, even myself, we can kind of back off, say, okay, we won two in a row. It's not the, the, you know, the sky is not falling, you know, at the end of the day. Uh, this team has shown the ability to show up in big games um, consistently throughout the course of the season. And I think that is a very, very key trait for this basketball club. So that's what you saw tonight, man. If I was going to give the game ball to anybody, I think it was a couple people you can give it to. Braun played great. Austin played great. AD played great. Uh, but I'm going to give it to AD. Even though he only contributed but so much to the scoring, I think he walked out of there with like 10 points or 8 points, somewhere like that. 18 boards, 4 blocks, about 6 assists or something of that nature. Uh, his impact on this game was, un was, was immeasurable. And I think when you consider the fact that we were able to hold the Knicks under 110 points, that's insane, man, especially given the way they've been playing lately. Even without Juju and NOG, they should have been scoring a lot more, and we made sure they did not. And I think it was us forcing the issue rather than them just missing shots. So, you know, this was this was a this was a good one, man, especially given the fact that it's in Madison Square Garden. Uh, you know how important that, that arena is in this league and how people love to show up in that, that arena, and I think we did as a unit. No super special, you know, performances by any one player but a collective overall dominant team win against a team that is literally the hottest team in the league right now so we beat the Celtics we beat the Knicks man that's something a lot of teams have not been able to say at all and we did it back to back and we did it on the road uh so that this like I said this may be the best stretch that we've been on in all season long um because it's not just about that you won these games it's, in, it's how you won these games the golden state game with the double double the, the excuse me with the double overtime and how spectacular and memorable that basketball game was and then you consider the boston celtic game with no bron no ad and how dominant of a boston celtic team this is this year and then going into the knicks when they're on the hottest streak of their that they've had in 11 years the hottest streak in the league right now at nine games and knocking them off um you know, albeit without some key components to their roster, but that 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 is uh, that's rather impressive, man. It's rather impressive. I, I can't talk too bad about it at all. I've had a lot of bad to say, but it ain't gonna be about these basketball games that we've been playing on this road trip. I think they've shown a certain uh, level of toughness and focus and and determination that you would want to see any Laker team show up with. If only we could just do this every single night against every single opponent. Um, we would be the contenders we hope to become, man, at the end of the day. So uh, proud of the squad for tonight, man. Definitely proud of them. Um, I would say they answered the bell on my uh, challenge, but nobody heard that damn challenge. So it's just a frustrating thing for me having not been able to upload. But um, I think because of the uploading issues, I'll probably end this video earlier than I normally do. Uh, but but I, I really am happy with this this win tonight, and I think all Laker fans will sleep a lot better um, knowing that we've done this much good on this road trip. So that's pretty much what I got to say, man. My name is BDL44. I thank you all for watching. I'm out.